Our organization is primarily a youth-based organization. Um, our mission is to use the cultural arts. We focus primarily on hip-hop culture, and I'll discuss a little bit about why that is. We find hip-hop as a tool to work with you and to really discuss and talk about some of the issues that you guys may be discussing today at the conference. Bringing that element of hip-hop into it, you see it everywhere in media today. You've got everybody from Sprite to McDonald's using this form of culture to advertise and sell their products. You've got people having you know, graffiti in their uh, advertisements on TV, yet when kids do it, they're told that they're criminals. So there's a huge unbalance as far as what media is portraying hip-hop is and what the real foundation and history of hip-hop is. So I'm going to go a little bit into that for some of you who may or may not be familiar with just the history behind hip-hop and how it's really started. Um, there's a great book out there by Jeff Chang called Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and it's really like the Bible of hip-hop. It's a great documentary, it's a great story about everything that has happened over the past 30 years, both culturally, politically, socially, that really break down how this culture has come about and where it has come from. And you look at the quote, if blues culture had developed under the conditions of oppressive forced labor, hip-hop culture would arise from the conditions of no work. A lot of times we talk to youth and it's like, what about the war going on in our own communities? And we're working with a group of youth currently that want to create for their school project a mural that represents the fact that we're spending billions of dollars in a war overseas and rebuilding another country, yet they see a war every day in the streets in their own, in their own neighborhood. And what are we doing to address that? And that really brings the foundation of hip hop and how we address that with youth, with racism, with um, you know the lack of opportunities, the lack of school funding, things of those nature that youth are dealing with today. Kind of the same issues that kids 30 years ago were dealing with. A little bit about what we offer, what we do. Um, we offer what's called the element classes, and I'll talk a little bit about more what the elements of hip hop are. Um, myself kind of growing up with the culture, um, having that as a big influence in my life. Myself and my co-founder, Elliot White, who couldn't be here today, but he's also a graffiti artist. And some of you guys may have heard on the news recently some of the issues going on with graffiti in Milwaukee. And we'll talk a little bit about why we think it's important to also incorporate um, you know, the things that youth are interested in, the things that you see in media and as an organization, how we kind of create a balance for that. So we do DJ classes, break dancing, graffiti art, and the art of them seeing. To us, these are cultural arts. These are arts that kids are very interested in. A lot of times when people hear graffiti, they think it's this act of vandalism. But graffiti is something that has been around since ancient hieroglyphics, and it's really basically a form of painting on a wall. And for us, the only difference between a graffiti artist and a traditional artist is their medium of choice, which happens to be spray paint. So that's usually what we use when we create murals. We teach youth how to use spray paint, we talk about the legality issues, we get into the history of it, um, culturally and historically what that means. This is something that's been around for over 30 years, um, and we feel it's very important that most in traditional schools and traditional after school programs, you don't see any of these things being offered to students, yet this is what they're interested in, and there's kind of an unbalance there. Um, we've seen the positive impact that teaching these elements have on youth. And I'll get a little bit more into how that is. We also offer a community beautification initiative. So our goal is to kind of, um, throughout the community, create both more green space and more public art space so that we're not only talking about changing the community, but we're also changing it visually as well. 